Hello, welcome to another uh, longbow video. Uh, there will be just regular gameplay. Uh, I don't have really much uh, to do right now because Sandy started coming really soon. And I was planning to do a horse uh, comparison video, but uh, unfortunately Shadow is coming in the next Twitch drops. I thought that it will be out already and I don't want to do, do the comparison without it. So yeah, let's just... Uh, I figured I would just to try to uh, record some gameplay. Maybe give you some thoughts about how I uh, how I play uh, the bow. So at the start it's quite boring, like always. But with range, you, uh, range hero at least you have something to do, you can shoot cannons. It's always good to kill some cannons. I'm working on the um, longbow guide, it will be some tips and tricks, uh, and yeah, I, I think it will be, I think I will release it after Senji's, I think it will be a good time. Uh, yeah, what is going on, they are killing our peasants, let's try to kill them. Uh, I was, I, I like to try, like, play reapers with the longbow because they are not really micro intensive. You can just like order them to kill things and they do that just fine and they don't die in seconds if you <laughs> leave uh, them around. So yeah, other than that I have some shields. Uh, and uh, because with shields you can just put them somewhere. Uh, oh, he wasted his ult. <laughs> Uh, you can, with shields you can just put them anywhere uh, and they help uh, like your team somehow and you don't need to do any anything about them so you can just focus on shooting people. Uh, yeah, and it's always good to shoot some light armored uh, players because you do a lot of damage to them and they will just need to go back, heal up. So yeah, uh, it always help. It always help. And you can just kill them, apparently. There are some pikes coming on. I think. Yeah, it's just... What is that? It's peasants? I think it's peasants. Yeah, just shoot, shoot them, back kill everything. Uh, if you are wondering when I... Okay, I will just use Tiger Step now because there are many players, so we don't want to get CC'd. And yeah, if you are wondering uh, why Lightning Bolt and not Exploding Arrow, uh, it's because I think it's exploding arrow is not that useful anymore. Like there is uh, many units with are uh, resistance to CC, so you won't knock them down, and it has low damage, so you won't kill anything with that. And with lightning bolt, you can like uh, snipe some player who is healing, or you can snipe some uh, high value units. Uh, so yeah, uh, I really like Lightning Bolt uh, because, for example, uh, even with, like something like Paladins or something, if you just shoot them in the back, you will kill a, kill a lot of them. Uh, yeah, just let's go for another unit. To be honest, I have <laughs> I have a hard time uh, focusing on gameplay because of a talking thing, but I guess I need to practice that. Yeah. Uh, by the way, if you are new to the channel, uh, I have many guides and and so on. So take a look if you are interested in that. And if you like them, please subscribe because it helps a lot and it, it looks nice when subscribers go up. So yeah, please do that. Oh, there are so many Namcans. So many Namcans to kill. Namcans are like ultimate uh, benchmark unit if your uh, bow is good enough because it's like everybody uses them and you should be able to kill them with one shot so if you are killing them with one shot then your bow is good enough I would say another benchmark and I like is if you can kill Pavis with one shot one headshot uh, so yeah uh, I can do that with runes uh, only with damage runes and uh, that's the reason when I never take these runes which reduce headshot damage just because you, I cannot kill Pavis then uh, I think it's like only reason I don't take them 
because with players uh, I don't I like yeah you you do lower damage lower headshot damage so you cannot like snipe people with lightning ball and so on okay there's so many kills what is going on nobody's protecting these guys free kills free kills yeah just ignore these people go and kill all the archers no. I don't care if they kill me. <laughs> There's so many free kills here. <laughs> what is going on? Okay, and now try to kill this guy. Uh, with short balls is quite annoying because they jump a lot. Uh, but they jump with some read. So you just need to uh wait to like in general you just need for the way to do the jump and then kill them or just kill them with lightning bolt because it's awesome oh so our team died there i was quite sure that we are killing them it's unfortunate because i cannot kill this muscat i i won't even try it's not worth the hassle let's see how it goes with paladins if i recall collecti paladins win with <laughs> win with Star Wars so uh, but we have some short bow he will help I see I, I think that if he doesn't charge then he lose but if he would charge me I, they, he would won but yeah uh, to be honest uh, Star Wars Paladins are quite getting obsolete right now because uh, like Grand Pass are much better than Star Wars and Paladins cannot really kill a lot of the new units so you are, uh, if you are wondering which sword and shield a uh, sword and shield units you should get i think palace guards are much better uh, palace guards kill every every new unit they they kill everything because they brace is absolutely absolutely overpowered i uh, did some testing uh, some time ago when we tested like uh, block values and it appears that palace guards have like infinite block when they uh, activate their brace like for a few seconds so they can tank absurd amounts of damage and then just kill you yeah i should have just grabbed my palace guards i guess yeah i want to shoot him back because uh, because i can yeah it didn't help, help at all but yeah uh, we just for be being annoying and uh, lightning boy has quite a low cooldown so why not he just lo lost half hp you really need to heal up maybe it will help somehow yeah he just when you play a bow you just try to be annoying just try to be annoying and you will do well sometimes sometimes it won't won't uh, show in the stats at all but let's say you see somebody healing up and you uh, you stop their heal and you just like uh, excluded him from the fight for a minute and it won't, well, it won't show in the stats but it helps so always try to uh, you just need to focus on where, where to land your shots so that you get some value for your team and if you focus on like uh, getting this value everywhere you can you will do well i need to take a sip of water because it's cold go. it's getting quite dry there so yeah give me a second now just chilling behind the point really helpful uh what we have there like they don't have unit we can try to block this path and Dax Riders can kill everything. Okay, I will just chase them because we probably want to heal. Oh, and free kill. Yeah, that's why it's, it's good to just take these uh, chances, take these opportunities, maybe. Uh, because uh, it's not like with Longbow, it's not like you want to take your unit, focus on controlling it, following your team, and so on. It's better if it's better if you have units which can be just uh, left and forget, so it do does something, and you just walk around and try different angles and see what you can find. To be honest, because most of the time, if you just stand in the front, 
you, all you will have to do is just shooting some shield walls and so on but you just take sidestep somewhere suddenly you see some archers some guys trying to heal so you can stop them and yeah just, just try to find the security in this always by the way if you ha try to annoy somebody using artillery uh, just shoot them with flaming hour arrow because it dismounts them uh, it's really good against uh, this uh, arrow artillery because if you if you stop them uh, they just lost the cooldown so it's really good to try to uh, time your flaming arrow to hit them uh, like right away after they start shooting <laughs> so they waste they were they just waste their you know, uh, they uh, cool down and yeah that was perfect example why i like <laughs> lighting bolt you just you can still kill still everything just shoot in general direction of enemies and sometimes the kills just come okay, there, if i remember correctly there is quite a good spot uh, to shoot their uh, range units they always put your range unit right there uh, and you can shoot them in the back somewhere there, yeah let's see, I cannot see them to be honest but I can shoot them and see that something is there uh, or maybe not ah, okay uh, I thought that there are some pavis or something but yeah outriders are somewhere there this really bad message or bad news uh, for my shields because they will just get destroyed. That's why I also like to use uh, shield walls, even cheapest one, because you can just hide behind them and shoot some arrows at the archers. Because uh, other uh, other ways they can just kill you. You just need to escape. And I see that there is no support at all for us, uh, so I don't think it's quite good ideas to stand there. Oh, we are taking the base point. Okay, I just, it's a, a, another reason why I like lightning bolt. You can just you just shoot at the heads of enemy units, and you can kill even purple ones, even heavy armored ones. I, I'm, I have no idea what they are doing. They just, <laughs> they just, they just couldn't pa go past my OP DMS shields. Oh, I have MVP. It's really good. Uh, what Star Wars did quite good. I, it was all these free kill archers. So yeah, it doesn't count. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please leave a like. Please subscribe. It really helps a lot and thank you for watching and see you next time.